Hi, dear students. Welcome back to the class. In the previous class, we learnt uh, the three properties of a determinant. Now, in this class, we'll see the remaining uh, properties of a determinant. So today, we'll see the fourth property that is, if each element of a row or column of a determinant multiplied by a constant k. Then the value of the determinant is multiplied by k. So let's prove this. Let delta is equals to k1, k2, k3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. Expansion of this. That is equal to a1 half b2 into c3 minus c2 into b3 minus a2 half b1 into c3 minus c1 into b3 plus a3 half b1 into c2 minus c1 into b2 simplifications that is equals to a1 into b2 into c3 minus a1 into b3 into c2 minus a2 into b1 into c3 minus a2 minus minus plus a2 a2 into b3 into c3 c1 plus a3 into b1 into c2 minus a3 into b2 into c1 c1 next one let delta 1 be the determinant obtained by multiplying the first row of this by constant k so that is k into a1 k into a2 k into a3 so b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 again that is equals to expansion k into a1 half b2 into c3 minus b3 into c2 again minus a into a2 half b1 into c3 minus c1 into b3 next plus a into a3 half b1 into c2 minus c1 into b2 b2 expansion again that is equals to here from the entire term, I will take the k outside. Therefore, k, k of multiply this to each term. That is a1 into b2 into c3 minus a1 into b3 into c2 minus a. So, a2 into b1 into c3 minus into minus becomes plus a. That is a2 into b3 into c1 again this term plus a3 into b1 into c2 minus a3 into b2 into c1 again that is equal to now compare the same time with this you have same value so therefore that is a k into delta k into delta so therefore that is delta 1 is equal to k into delta k into delta. Hence, proof. Here, remember, we have one row, one column, one constant and multiply But then, one value, one value, we can multiply what? Constant.
so here remember this so this property is very important here we can take the constant or common factor from entire row or entire column you can take out the common factor from the entire row or the entire column for example if delta is equals to k into a1 k into a2 k into a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 here we can take out the constant k from the first row outside that is uh, is equals to k into determinant of a1 a2 a3 similarly b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 right so you should remember this from this from by using this property we can take out any common factor from entire row or entire column you should remember this okay next next we have that is determinant of k into a determinant of k a is equals to k to the power of n into determinant of n who should remember this formula that is determinant of k a into a constant into matrix determinant of k a is equal to k to the power of n into determinant of k where n is the order of the matrix where n is order of a matrix for example if a is the square matrix of order 3 if a is the square matrix of order 3 comma determinant of a is equals to 2 determinant of a is equals to 2 then determinant of 3a determinant of 3a okay so if a is equals to if, if a is a square matrix of order 3 and determinant of a is equal to then what is the value of determinant of 3a so we can by using the this formula we can write determinant of 3a determinant of 3a is equals to k to the power of n into determinant of k here what is the value of n we have 3 therefore that is equals to again okay, 3 to the power of 3 Three to the power of three into determinant of a. So what is the power three? Three into three into three. Twenty-seven. That is twenty-seven into determinant of a. What are the twenty-seven into determinant of a? What is the determinant of a value? That is uh, into two. Okay. So simplify this. So get the value that is fifty-four. Uh, right. So remember determinant of k a is equals to k to the power of n into determinant of determinant of y next next we have next next a determinant of a skew symmetric matrix of order add gives a zero again the determinant of a skew symmetric matrix determinant of a skew symmetric matrix of order add gives Zero. That is, if A is equal to matrix zero, four, five, minus four, zero, six, again minus five, minus six, zero. What is this? This is a skew symmetric matrix. Then. The determinant of a is equal to zero. Determinant of a is equal to zero. It is a skew symmetric matrix of order what? Three. That is odd. The both such determinant value becomes determinant value becomes what? Zero. Right? So next property we have if in a determinant all the elements of a row are Column R zero, then the value of the determinant is zero. If all the elements of a row R column R zero, then the value of the determinant remains zero. We we'll prove this. So let the delta is equal to determinant A one, A one, A two, A three, B one, B two, B three. Zero, zero, zero. 
See here, the third row elements are zero. Therefore, again, that is expansion a one half b two into zero zero minus zero into b three zero. Again, minus a two half b one into zero zero zero. Again, minus a zero into b three zero. Again, plus a three a three half b one into zero zero minus a. Zero into B two, that is zero. Simplification. That is equals to zero. Zero into zero. Zero plus zero plus zero. That is equals to zero. Next property we have: if each element of a row or column of a determinant is sum of two terms, then the determinant can be expressed as sum of two determinants. Sum of two determinants. That is, if delta is equals to, if delta is equals to y one in plus lambda one, y two plus lambda two, y three plus lambda three, b one, b two, b three, c one, c two, c three. Here. The first row is sum of two terms. Sum of two terms. Therefore, we can express the this determinant as what? Sum of two determinants. Sum of two determinants. And then, yah, the one the determinant only. One the row na, ato kaala mali. Sum of two terms it to andre. We can express it as sum of two determinants. Sum of two determinants. That is, y one. A two, A three, B one, B two, B three, C one, C two, C three. Plus, we will transfer this determinant of lambda one, lambda two, lambda three. Remaining same. That is B one, B two, B three, C one, C two, C three. Yau de one determinant na one the row only. अतः उन तारा मले इतनी तो सम ऑफ टू टर्म्स देन ना दैट डिटरमिनेंट्स कैन बी एक्सप्रेस आस सम ऑफ टू डिटरमिनेंट्स सम ऑफ टू डिटरमिनेंट्स सो नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ डिटरमिनेंट इज अनआर्डर्ड इफ टू द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एनी रो आर तारा जे मल्टीपल्स ऑफ कर्स्पांडिंग एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एन Other row or column is added. Andre, one row ge, other one column ge, one constant then na multiply maar bato. Other na a column na, atwa row na kaun dogi, bare one column only, atwa bare one row only, hard row only, hard maar daga. The value remains same. The value remains same. Again, yaude one determinant na entire row ge. अतः एंटर कॉलम के वंदु कांस्टेंट करना मल्टीप्लाई मार बैठो आ कांस्टेंट करना बेरे वंदु रोल ली अतः बेरे वंदु कॉलम ली आर मार दो रुपूडा द वैल्यू ऑफ़ द डिटरमिनेंट कर रिमाइंड्स हम सेम विल प्रो दिस ओके लेट डेल्टा इज़ इक्वल्स टू ये वन ये टू A three, B one, B two, B three, C one, C two, C three, C three. Let us delta one na is equal to. I'll multiply K two entire row, third row, and I'll add this with the first row. Therefore, that is A one na. Plus k into c one here a two plus k into c two again here a three plus k into c three k into c three so delta one is obtained by multiplying k two row three add with the row one it is invalid written answer so as we know already r one Is replaced with R one plus 
K times R3. K times R3. Multiplying the row 3 by K, add that with the row 1. So again, that is B1, B2, B3. Again, C1, C2, C3. Again, that is A equals to. By previous property, we know that if any row has sum of two terms, then we will express it as what a sum of two determinants. By using that property, I will express this determinant as sum of two determinants. Therefore, that is A1, A2, A3. Again, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3, C3. Plus, Expressing this uh, determinant has a sum of two determinants. That is uh, k into c1, k into c2, k into c3. Again, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. Okay, again, uh, that is equal to that is equal to write the first determinant has that is as it is a1. A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, again C1, C2, C3, plus from this uh, determinant, take the common factor that is K outside the determinant, therefore that is K into determinant of C1, C2, C3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. Again, that is equals to A1, A2, B, sorry, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3, plus K into 0. Why? So in the previous class, we studied one property which says if in a determinant two rows are identical. Yavde one the determinant only two rows are two columns to say with two and re and value and out zero out there. What is k into zero? Zero. Therefore, that is equal to determinant a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. Right? Therefore, that is uh, delta 1 is equal to delta. Again, remember. One the row ke, atau one the column ke, one the constant na multiply mod ke itu R row na atau A column na, ini the row ni atau ini the column ke hard mod dahaga, the value of determinant remains same, remains same. So next property we have if in determinant ke all the elements on one side of a principal diagonal elements are zero. Then the value of determinant is equal to the product of principal diagonal elements. Again, yaude one the determinant only one side of a principal diagonal so zero into one it may be upper or it may be lower. Then the value of determinant is equal to product of principal diagonals. Is it this? Delta is equal to determinant. That is A1, A2, A3, 0, B1, B2, 0, 0, C1. Then this is equal to, so if we know this is principal diagonal, if one side of the principal diagonal all the elements are zero, then the value of this, 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 this determinant will be equal to what the product of principal diagonals, product of the principal diagonal that is a one into b1 into c1. Right? Again, example, if a is equals to 4, 5, 6, 0, minus 1, minus 0, R or any value, okay, 0, 0, 1, then uh, determinant of A is equals to, determinant of A is equals to, you know that, sir, 
one side of the principal elements are zero then the product of principal diagonal is equals to the value of the determinant therefore 4 into minus 1 minus 4 minus 4 into 1 minus 4 right this is the answer this this property this property we have if a and b are square matrices matrices of same order same order then determinant of a b determinant of a b is equal to determinant of a into determinant of b if a and b are square matrices of what order same then we have determinant of a b can be written as what determinant of a into determinant of b determinant of b okay so these are the properties